Is now a good time to sell my house? If you're asking that question, then chances are you're uncertain as to what to do because of what the media has been telling you and you don't know who to listen to or what to listen to. So real quick, the answer is yes, maybe, no. Well, geez, Jan, thanks for the clarity here. Well, let's dive into it and get really clear on the topic. So I'm going to be speaking about a hyper-specific area, the Wilmington area here, um, and some of this will apply to the nation as a whole, but overall we have seen a radical decrease in the number of pending and closed sales nationally. So this is really a little more geared, this is not a little more, this is geared more towards a hyper-specific area of Wilmington, North Carolina and the surrounding area. So let's start with the middle child, the maybe, because this one is surrounded with emotion and uncertainty, and it's a very difficult question to answer if you're on the fence as to whether or not you should sell. If you're finding yourself in this position, the first thing, the most important thing you have to do is get really clear on your why. You've gotta have a little deep introspection and discover what it is that you're afraid of, what's holding you back, and what is your motivation for even considering selling? This is time to get really, really deep with yourself and figure out what it is that you ultimately want. So there's something that's holding you on the fence that you're not certain about. Now, what is the real reason that you are even considering moving? Is it selling your house? Is it you need a bigger home? You are relocating and need to leave the area? Maybe you just plain flat out don't like the place you live in now. So once you're actually honest and you're clear with yourself on your why and what is your reason for this, can, the, can you only at that point move forward with confidence and certainty? So again, really dive into what it is, the reasons that you're moving and what is your why. Once you gain clarity on this topic, everything will come into focus. Okay, that's the middle child. So you're clear now. So the answer is yes, I want to sell. Well, let's pull that apart and find out why. Now is a good time to sell. Even though in the Wilmington area, we've seen a, a steady uptick of inventory, it's very minor, but it, there has been a continual uptick of inventory. There's been an uptick of days on market, which is how long your house goes from the time it is actually listed and marketed to the time it actually goes under contract, right? Those are days on market. So there's a slight uptick in that as well. Another topic is interest rates. The interest rates continue to rise. There's a lot of uncertainty as to where they're going to go. I'm not gonna dive into this topic here, but right now they're in a fairly volatile state. They could go up, they could go down. I'm one that likes to hedge on the side of I know what is taking place now and I'd rather hedge my bets today than take a guess on tomorrow and hope for a better outcome. So that's just the way I operate. So overall, Wilmington continues to be year after year after year, one of the top relocation destinations in America. There's many reasons for it. Taxes, weather, of course, proximity to the beach, lots of things to do here. You know, it's, it's a really wonderful area to live. So with the influx of people continually moving to this area and relocating here, even though interest rates are up, we are still, nationally, we are still millions of homes short for, for what is needed. But in the areas that people are really moving to, the areas that are really a high relocation area, such as Wilmington, such as Raleigh, Charlotte is one of them. We'll just talk about North Carolina right now. You know, people wanna be here, so they're moving in from other areas, which is creating maybe a stress on some of those areas, right? San Diego, for example, is, is a big one. Phoenix, Arizona is another one where they're starting to see a stress on how many buyers are actually buying because people are selling, they're moving out of the area. So we're benefiting from the relocation portion of you know what's, what's taking place in the nation right now. So while rates are, creeping up slowly, interest rates are creeping up slowly, which decreases your purchasing ability. And housing market tends to be short overall nationally, but days on market are accumulating. Inventory is slowly creeping up. Again, Wilmington still, the average days on market is much, much lower than the nation as a whole. We still are one of the top destinations. So before, if, if I were to list my own personal house, I would do it now rather than wait and hope for a better outcome later. I don't need to sell, I don't need to list, so I'm not, I'm not gonna move. But if I did need to, or if I was thinking about an upgrade, I would do it now because again, I like to hedge my bets on what is known and what is a given, which is right now. We know current, present situation. 
I don't know, nobody knows what the future is going to hold with interest rates, with the economy, with, with whatever the situation may be. So again, I like to hedge and I like to work with what I know now. That's why I encourage, if you were to list, I would encourage you to list now, if that's in your game plan. So that's the yes. We're still seeing a 96% as, a, as an average in this area, in the Cape Fear region, we're seeing a 96% list to sales price. So if it's if that means if somebody's putting their house on the market for $100, they're getting $96. It's not what it was back in May of 2021, where things were 101, 102% of asking price. It's not that anymore, right? So the market is changing and we're seeing a slow, you know, a slow shift to a more stable market, right? So home prices, they shot up. And right now they're running a pretty flat line with what, what the pricing is. Of course, you have your pockets in your areas that are increasing in value. And I don't wanna to go too far off topic here, but it is a good time to sell while we know what the current situation is. So why, why would I not wanna sell? Maybe you bought last year. Maybe you're financially burdened. Those are two of the most obvious reasons why you would not wanna sell. If you bought your house in 2021, last year, well, you probably don't wanna sell because you, you, the market has not appreciated that much, if at all, since you bought it last. The other side of that is, you're probably looking at a 2.5 to 3%, 3.5% interest rate. So if your house is at a 2.5 to 3.5% interest rate and it has not appreciated in value, but you need to relocate for some reason, well, maybe now is a perfect time to have your current house serve you as an income property and rent it out. Interest rates are, if you're locked into that kind of an interest rate, it's amazing, it's free money. So those are really the only, only reasons why you wouldn't sell. Value is not appreciated enough. You've got an excellent, excellent interest rate. You don't really need to move. You don't really need to sell. You don't really need to list the house. So. These are some things to, to put into your into your pocket and take with you. But again, it, we're still in a demanding area. Prices are still high from what they were three years ago. They're flat, they're consistent. Days on market are down from what the national average is. Our pending sales, our closed sales here are up, way up from what the national average is. So all of these things bode well. If you, were to th if you were thinking about listing now, they bode well to actually go ahead and list now with what we currently know. All right, that's it. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.